Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing part four of the fragrance mist that smell like expensive perfumes. And before I get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? I'm so, so happy to have you here with me and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's get into this video. All right guys, so today I am coming at you just bare. I just fixed my brows a bit, put a little bit of lip balm on and that is it. I'm waiting for my husband to come home so that we can go have a quick dinner. I'm feeling a little like just, I just wanna be comfy today. I don't really wanna be bothered with makeup or none of that. But I wanted to get this video out of the way before I started my weekend. So I have here, five fragrance mists that remind me of expensive perfumes now for today's video i'm not going to say that these are 100 percent dupes because again i've said it in my previous videos but i don't think a fragrance mist is ever going to be a hundred percent dupe for a perfume because a fragrance mist is just simply not a perfume but these videos are more to give you an idea of fragrance mists that give off vibes of a certain fragrance or if you like a certain perfume then you might like this fragrance mist so i'm going to start off with the first one which i was debating whether or not to keep this fragrance mist because i feel like i have many that kind of remind me of this but just in case any of you guys maybe got this one recently or you're interested in it I'm going to be talking about the Bath & Body Works Starlit Night, which is one that was released pretty recently. And the notes for this one are Snowberry, Midnight Iris, and Sensual Agarwood. When I read these notes, I didn't think that it was going to translate into, again, another good dupe or fragrance mist version of Cloud by Ariana Grande. And I'm showing you the intense version but these two smell super super similar if you want to layer them together they're going to go perfectly well together this isn't really an expensive perfume this is a celebrity perfume but i know that many of you love this dna or this scent profile so if you were wondering what starlit night smelled like i feel like these are super duper similar they're very similar and I know that many people find that super exciting but at the same time I'm kind of ready for maybe the spring scents from Bath & Body Works so that I can see if I find any more dupes for you guys because I feel like there's many um, fragrance mists from Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret that are kind of taking this route so it's starting to get a little repetitive. I don't know if any of you guys agree with me. Let me know in the comment section. But that is going to be the first one that I feel remind me of each other. This next one is pretty exciting. And when I say that this one is similar, it's not a dupe again. But it's the closest that I got to this fragrance in the fragrance mist version. So I'm going to be talking about the Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple. Here is the packaging and the notes on this one are candied red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. So this fragrance mist reminds me a lot of the latest release from Kayali and this is Eden Juicy Apple. So they look super cute next to each other. The packaging is very similar, red and gold. Um, this is probably still available at Bath & Body Works if you can get your hands on it because they're still having the sale. I'm going to try and get this video up as soon as I can, but I'm pretty sure that many of you already have this fragrance mist and this one has something in it that makes it a little bit different from Kayali's Juicy Apple and I think it's that cinnamon note that gives it this like spice towards the end of me sniffing the fragrance whereas this one stays more 
fruity, sweet. So that's the only difference that I pick up, but the apple to me is super, super similar. And the other one that is similar is Country Apple from Bath & Body Works, but that one has more of like this aquatic vibe to me. Yeah, they're very similar and if you layer these together or if you get the body cream of this one and layer it with this fragrance, it smells amazing. I already did that combo and I loved it so, so much. So if you're looking for something that is going to give off the vibes of Eden Juicy Apple, I would go with the Winter Candy Apple from Bath & Body Works. Next up, I'm going to be talking about Bath & Body Works Midnight Pomegranate. And this one, I was just playing around with my body mist and I was trying to find something that smelled like this. So I started to go based off of the note. So to me, I wanted to find a fragrance that had pomegranate in it. So I started looking through my perfumes and these two are not identical to each other. Again, I think this one, the notes are ruby red pomegranate, sparkling cassis, white jasmine, blackberry spice, and patchouli. If this one didn't have patchouli, I think that they would be even more closer to each other because this one reminds me of my Burberry blush. So these two would pair up super well together because they both have that pomegranate note in them. I just feel like this one's a little bit more girly um, and it doesn't give me that patchouli note that I get from the fragrance mist, but they're very similar and it gives off kind of like the same vibes. So you can layer them together and they'll work really, really nicely together. Or if you want something that kind of gives off like these vibes, then I would definitely say that Midnight Pomegranate is similar to that one. Yeah, only thing that changes in this one is that patchouli note. But other than that, if just think about my Burberry blush, but just a little bit more grown because this one has that added patchouli in there. So these two are very similar to each other. All right, so moving along to the next one, this one is the exact same thing again. The fragrance mist is kind of reversed though. The fragrance mist doesn't have patchouli and this is, I know this one is hard to find at the moment, but since spring and summer is gonna be here soon, they might be releasing this again. So I'm gonna give you this idea just in case some of you have it. Or if you don't have it, you can be on the lookout for this summer. But this is the Coconut and Pineapple from Bath & Body Works. And here is the packaging of this one. Super nice and tropical looking. And to me, this one is a great dupe or gives off the same vibes as Mugler's Angel Eye Star. So the only difference to me between these two is that this one has that added patchouli in it. So it makes it a little bit more grown. It makes it a little bit more just elevated and smells like a perfume. But if you want the same type of scent, then definitely coconut pineapple is, they're very comparable. I layer them together and they layer so beautifully together. This one also has coconut and pineapple. So the notes are very similar, except for that patchouli note. So now that summer is coming around, if they release this one again, that's a really good one to get. Yeah, all that's missing in the fragrance mist would be the patchouli. And if you're a person that doesn't really like patchouli, then this is pretty much ice star without the patchouli in it. Really, really nice combo and they complement each other very, very well. And then for my last dupe that I'm going to give you guys or just it, I kind of think of it as fragrance mist alternatives. So if you kind of like a certain scent profile, you know that you'll like this fragrance mist. So this next one is from Victoria's Secret. I'm not sure if you can still get this online, but I did order this one from the website. And this one is Melon Sorbet. So here is the bottle and the notes for this one are sugared watermelon, strawberry leaves. It's the only two notes that it gives. But to me, this one is very similar vibes to Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice. 
except that this one has uh, I believe is the rhubarb note in here so you're not going to get that in the mist so the mist is going to be sweeter but you're going to get that same watermelon note that you get in Emperatriz which watermelon is pretty hard to find in fragrance it's not a very common note but it has that same watermelon touch to it only thing that you're not going to get in the fragrance mist is that rhubarb which i know that many people aren't a fan of the rhubarb in this one they find it a little bit sour a little bit tart so this body mist is pretty much the same vibe as Limperatriz, just without that tart vibe to it and this one is just sweet watermelon but it's very similar to it yeah so these two go really well together i got this one to layer with this fragrance for spring and summer so i just wanted to share this with you guys as well so that brings us to the end of this video those are the dupes that i found for today i think that in the current collection that i have of fragrance mist i think that i am done with these types of videos because the rest of them don't really remind me specifically of anything now i am going to be going to bath and body works for spring and summer and seeing what body mist they release and if I get enough to be to continue to do these types of videos, then I'll have another one soon. But for right now, I think that I am done with the fragrance mist that's not like expensive perfumes in my current collection. Today, I am going to try and pass by Bath & Body Works because I know that they released the spring fragrance mist, which one of them is a pear one. I know that you guys really like these types of videos so that's why i have continued to film them for you guys so if i find any more i will be sure to make another video soon so i want to thank you guys for being here with me today comment down below if there are any fragrance mists that remind you of any perfumes that you own don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video